We have a uh, quick uh, view of what else has been happening in Randolph baseball today. With me today is Jake Morris from the Randolph A team in Babe Ruth. Jake, how did it go today? Um, we lost, but we played good baseball. We rallied towards the end and managed to come close within two runs. And Actually, we came close within tying with one run, but the other team scored two runs, and then we couldn't muster up any runs in the bottom. Well, I saw some of that game, and there was a lot of thrilling action there. What's next for Randolph baseball fans? Um, what a game on Wednesday. A game on Wednesday. And we'll bring you the action live. On tape. <laughs> yep. Okay, and now we've started in the bottom half of the first inning. The Randolph Red Sox at bat. Pittsfield Pirates in the field. Their pitcher is named Kevin. And number 10, the pitcher for the Red Sox, leading it off, it's Patrick Morris. And the count is no balls and two strikes. Patrick, whose nickname is Awesome Dude, batted 431 on the year with 18 stolen bases and no home runs. Here's the pitch. It's a strike on the outside corner. Hi, Steve. Okay. Two balls, one strike. Wind up, pitch, and it's off the plate. It's three to one. They don't want to let Patrick get on the bases. His good speed has caused him to be among the league leaders. Stolen bases. And it's ball four. And the Red Sox start it off. Next up is number 12, Adam King. Adam's 12-year-old, lives in downtown Randolph, has a viciously aggressive swing. It's, it's a changeup outside, missing the plate. Kevin on the mound looks to be uh, struggling slightly. Needs a couple of, uh, of strikes to get his confidence back. And there's a shot, but it's the second base. Good shot. Good catch there made by Eric, second baseman. That's a pretty good shot. Oh, Jesus. Okay, maybe this is an indication of what a tightly game, played game this is going to be. He's one of the short ones. Third hitter for the Red Sox, number 17, Eric Gerstenmeyer, otherwise known as the wild man of the base paths. There's never a dull moment when Eric is running the bases. Here's the wind up, the pitch. Hi. Might be a good time here to test the catcher's arm. We'll see if the coaches are flashing any signs. Can't see anything in evidence. 2-0 to Eric. And it's outside. There's another ball. On deck is Brett Dudek. Pitch, and that's a strike. Three to one, three and one. No score, bottom of the first inning. Your wife looks like she's trying to ignore this game. And it's ball four, and now the Red Sox have two of their better runners on. And coming to the plate is number 15, Brett Dudek. Brett, the leading home run hitter in the Randolph Little League this year with four dingers including two in one game against the Red Sox. Go, cranking out there, limbering up, drawing a bead on Kevin on the mound. Here's the wind up, the pitch, and it's a little squibber towards second base. It falls. It, it, it lands in his glove. No. <laughs> now there is an unusual little league play. Hopefully we'll be get get to watch the uh, instant replay. The ball landed in his glove, but he lost control of his glove. A very unusual play. Now that's going to be one for the umpires to rule on. Let's see what they're calling. They're awarding him second base. 
And then Brett goes to first base, I believe, on this. This is the kind of play that Little League is all about. <laughs> Again, to repeat the action, the second baseman appeared to catch the ball, but lost control of his glove. And there's a bit of a Donnie Brook going on right now. Both the coaches out here. Hopefully we'll see some fisticuffs in the fans. Wish I could hook my blue mic up to this. I got one at home, yeah. but otherwise we could, then we could hear them. <laughs> Can we get the replay? Yeah, we're gonna have the replay on that. We could. Where else? Yeah, pretty sure I got it. <laughs> see, Laura, like my new play-by-play -play man, my normal one didn't show uh, up. <laughs> now they uh, they've removed Eric Gerstenmeyer from second base. <laughs> Okay, it's now two down. And we've got Nate Dyer at the plate. Two down, a very unusual play. And uh, Nate hits it, looks like it's gonna be foul. Tell you the truth, I think the umps might have missed it on that. Uh, depends on whether or not they ruled the play dead. If they did not rule it dead, then they called it correctly as a force out of the second. Nate Dyer, good hitting third baseman and outfielder. There's a shot right to the shortstop, and the Red Sox are down. So at the end of one inning, it's no score.